<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to solve the integral of sine mx and cosine nx dx. Here you can see m and x are constants but are not equal to each other. So in order to tackle this problem, we're going to use the identity sine angle a times cosine angle b is equal to 1 half sine the sum of the angles a plus b plus 1 half sine the difference of the angles a minus b. So let's plug it in. Now we have 1 half times the integral of sine m plus n times x plus sine m minus n times x all multiplied by dx. So let's move on. Now we're going to integrate the angle of the sine and it would give us 1 over m plus n and as well as the integral of the angle of the other side. So m minus n. So we now have 1 over n, m minus n. So we now have 1 half times 1 over m plus n times the integral of sine m plus n x dx plus 1 over m minus n times the integral of sine m minus n x dx. So the integral of sine is negative cosine. So now we have for our final answer 1 half times 1 over m plus n times negative cosine m plus n times x plus 1 over m minus n negative cosine m minus n times x plus c.